Hello and welcome to one of two Blu-ray pickups. In this one I've got quite a lot of Blu-ray films to show you so I've decided to um, split these into two videos because this might be a very long video. So um, let's get cracking. Now the first up I'm going to show you, now if you watched my Blu-ray hunting video last Monday you would have noticed I picked up the Avengers Infinity Ward and it also came with the Grog keyring. Oops. And as you can see, I haven't opened it yet. Now that's because I'm recording this on a Wednesday and I'm planning on watching this on a Saturday. So when you watch this video, I would have already seen it. But I am really looking forward to um, watching it. So, so that won't be that won't be sealed for too long, only if. <laughs> So that is that. Now my next film I actually got from Pound Shop, and I ended up, and and it happens, and they happen to have Blu-ray films in. Now I have done a video on the on both these Poundland shops, and now one of them, which I've done, which I did a, a Blu-ray hunting video in Leeds, one of them had Blu-ray films, and it's the first time I've ever seen Blu-ray films in. And this is um, one of them, which I'm not going to keep, but the film is alright, and it is Rupture. Now, the film, the film, I'll stand back. The film is about a, a lady who gets kidnapped, and she gets taped, and then they start doing experiments. <coughs> and they give her some sort of, like, it's like an orange, like, liquid, and they call it something G12. And it makes, the, like, the face go all, like, funny. <coughs> And also, um, the picture quality is pretty good, and the sound it they use a good set. The sound effects is really good, especially when the doors open. You go doof doof doof. The way the door open, you can hear it down in the background. So, if you got like a good surround system that makes really good use of the um, sound, just a shame. The film is all right, and the lady, the main lady, she's from um, oh, what you call it now? Oh, it is now. Not Americans. I know American snipe. No, um, that dragon, dragon. I forgot it's card. Something dragon. I know she played. Yeah, something dragon. I can't remember the name of it now. I know. I think there's a Swedish version of it as well. But I know she's like the dragon. So um, it's a uh, fairly decent. And there's the um. It's worth a watch, and if you see it dead cheap for a quid, it's um, worth picking up and having a watch. Or you could probably, you might be able to stream it on Netflix. I know um, Big Parlor YouTuber has done a review of it, but I won't be keeping it in my collection. This will be going out. I'll either donate it to a charity shop, or I might just keep it as a spare case, and this will go to Drosny and keep it as a spare case. But I definitely won't be watching it again. But it's a decent, it's a decent enough watch to watch once anyway. So that's um, Rupture. Now the next rup is also from the Pound Shop, and it is Hotel Transylvania 2. Now I have seen, um, I have seen the first one, and I, which I really enjoyed, and I've watched, and I've already watched the second one, and it's about this kid. Because they have a kid, and basically the parents end up going away on holiday, and the guy, their dad, Dracula, ends up like trying to get the kid fangs to come out, and they start doing all sorts of stuff. <laughs> it's very comical in a way, and they end up taking the kid kid out, and they're trying to like frighten, like well not frighten him, but trying to show him how to frighten people and all that from these other characters. I like trying to teach him, and that jelly f character is pretty funny. I know he, <laughs> he can like suck people right inside him, <laughs> but that's Hotel Transylvania 2. It's pretty good, good use of the sound as well. And I like the picture, really good picture. And it's yeah, it's full 1080p. I don't know if there's a 4K version of this, but I am after the first one, so hopefully, I'll see that in the next Poundland when I go. Which is actually going to be 
two days when you see this video I will be going to that pound shop again and I may probably do a video as well but record it but there you go so hopefully when I do record there will be some blu-ray films <laughs> so that's one that's another one I picked up now the next ones I'm going to show you ah I'll show you this one as well some of you remember me remember the um, CX and I ended up picking it up Back to the Future Trilogy. Now, since I picked up, I haven't watched them yet. But I know this is on my list. And the plus, the plus, I mean the bonus features. I'm actually pretty in interested in watching, like behind the scenes, as well as deleted scenes and that. So that's pretty good. So some of you would have seen that in the um, pickups. That pickups the CX video. <laughs> so that is Back to the Future Trilogy. I can't remember how much I paid for it. Was that six or eight quid or something like that? Um, my next one up, I got this for about I think it was about two pound odd, and this was off eBay, and it is the um, the newish what I call Star Trek and Star Trek Into Darkness. So I paid about about two quid. I just I know it was just under three quid, and that was from Music Music Magpie. Remember right? So yeah, and it's a box is in pretty good nick. So I was happy, and I do like I do like these films. Don't really need to say much about them. And also, staying with Star Trek, this were about three quid, and this is Star Trek Beyond, as well. Now I know some people don't like this film, but I quite like it. It's not the strongest. I, I actually prefer, I do like these two equal and the same. I like Into the Darkness and the old Star Trek. But I know Star Trek films can be like a hit and miss. Like they could release one film which is not as good, and then the next film they release is really good. <laughs> so that is um, Star Trek Beyond. Now the next one. Now I use this. Next, let's no, I'll leave them two. Next one up is a charity shop, and I paid and it, oh yeah, and it's kick ass, and I paid a whopping ninety nine pence from St Jemmy's. Now, it's ages since I've seen this. I think it's about a kid who wants, who's trying to be a, like a superhero, superhero. Remember right? Trying to be, yeah, it's trying to become a. No power, vigilante, kick ass. And I know he ends up meeting with that last, which I can't remember, with Pinker. Uh, I can't remember her name, but I remember that, I remember enjoying it, and there's Nicolas Cage as well. And I know this is a really good, like, funny, like, action, and quite comical. So I need to watch this again. It's been a long time since I've seen it. So I'm, I'm going to get that sticker off as well. <laughs> So that is kick ass the first one. Ah, oh, my next one up. I got this in a charity shop and I paid two pounds and it has a nice sexy slip sleeve and it is the Fury with Brad Pitt. Now this is an absolutely fantastic film. Now the bits what I still remember is that then we're getting I know the Germans like surround the tank and I think they try and like blow it up. I think I'm trying to remember if I think they all die, I think, at the end of the film. If I remember correctly. And oh yeah, and that guy there, which I can't remember. I know he's the new uh, Punisher on Netflix TV. But that is really good, and I only paid two quid from the British Art Foundation. And there you go, nice sexy slip key slip key. I mean slip case. <laughs> Look at that, eh? Beautiful. And oh next one up, which I can definitely talk about this one a bit. Now, and this is a film which I, I wanted to get hold of and I end up having to get it from HMV. And it is Isle of Dogs. Now this is absolutely fantastic. This actually kind of surprised me because I want it. I'm not a huge massive fan of um, Wes Anderson. I'm not a massive fan of him. 
but this film I really enjoy. The animation is like um, Wallace and Gromit in a way. That's what I class the animation as. And you've got actor, actors and actresses like Scarlett Johnson. And there's also Jeff Goldblum is doing the um, voice at one of the dogs. As well as um, Bill Murray. So, and this is um, really good. Really actually surprised me. It also comes with cards which I know loads of YouTubers have already shown them. So I won't get them out. And, but it has a nice clear case. Now I have noticed now in HMV these are like running out, and there's, and the, you're not getting these um, slip, slip covers, and also um, the clear case, clear case. What I've been seeing now a blue, you know, she's standard blue. So if you want this slip cover and you want the um, nice clear through case, I suggest. You get them while you can, before they're all gone. But interesting, once they're all gone, if you still get those cards, what are in it. So uh, that is I Love Dogs. Highly recommend watching the film, especially if you're into your Wallace and Gromit films. Now, the next one, I'll do these. Now, as some of you may know, I go to Carvu every, well, every Sunday at my end. And I was... And I struck very lucky, I ended up picking up Blu-ray films. All these are 50 pence each, and two of them are still factory sealed. And the first one up, which I'm going to show you, is um, Pixels. And this was 50 pence. And it makes me wonder if the person, well, I know later said, but if the person like bought them off, bought them from Poundland, and then decided not to watch them. Now this is the only film I actually like, um, Adam Sandler in it. This is the only film I like him in it. For some reason, the other films what Adam S Adam Sandler has done, I don't like him. But I think I really. But this one I do. Plus it's kind of nostalgic, you know. With you got Pac Man, you got Donkey Kong, you got Space Invaders, you know all the great. Oh yeah, and Cuba as well. You've got all these um, great classic like eighty so. Which is probably why I like it. I like it. But yeah. It's been a while since I last watched this. So this is another one which I will be open. It's busting the sealed. And you can even. If my camera can pick it up. You can see the uh, Blu-ray like strip. Still across. So um, that's Pixels. And my next one up. Which. Also is 50p, and it stars Jeff Bridges and Ryan Reynolds, who's also, um, no, it's not Jeff, I was thinking Batman then for some reason, but definitely not him. He's also, um, Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool, Ooh, pardon me, and it's R.I.P.D. 3D, and this was also 50p, and this is also still sealed. Now this is a while, while since I last seen this film and I'm sure this is a bit like a comedy like action like shooter type of film I'm gonna to have to um, watch this again to remind me and as you can tell there's the did so blu-ray 3d version I don't have a 3d TV but it does have the standard blu-ray and also did so code so um, I definitely need to watch that again but for 50 pence cheap as chips now my next one up, I'm actually surprised, I was actually surprised this was on Blu-ray, I thought it wasn't even on Blu-ray. But this is The Lone Ranger, now this in fact is sealed and this was 50 pence. Now, I know, I know this is a very comical, like Western, you got your Johnny Depp, I can't remember who that other fella's off, Armin Hammer, I'm trying to remember what films he starred in. But and it's a Disney, and I know it's in DTS HD, as well as Dolly Itzel. So that is the Lone Ranger, and I can't, I won't gonna leave it there for fifty pence. Whew. And it, and this one I got it off a guy because those two sealed ones, what I just showed you, that was off a lady, and this one's off a, a different seller, and he was also selling them for fifty pence. He said he was trimming his collection down. Well, this is uh, one of them. 
Blue Red Ranger. I mean, Blue Red Ranger. I mean, the Lone Ranger. Get my words right. So um, I'm definitely um, going to have a look at the um, special features. I thought I re-watched the film again. But it's definitely a film I want to re-watch again. And from the same guy who I paid 50 pence. This is a Liam Nielsen film. And it's a walk amongst the tombstones. And it has this nice um, slip cover. And it has a nice, quite glossy. Ooh. I don't know if my camera will pick it up. Now this is, I, I cannot remember if I've ever seen this. I have to, I have seen Lee Neeson these Taken films, that action. But this one I cannot remember if I've ever seen it. So um, this is a film I need to re-watch again. So um, if I haven't seen it, I'll soon know within the next like 15-20 minutes of watching the film if I've seen it or not. But um, yeah, so for 50 pence, happy days, I'm definitely going to pick it up. And if I like it, it'll stay in my collection. If I don't, I'll get rid of it. <laughs> so, um, there you go. So that is Tombstone. Walk amongst the tombstones. Ooh. Now, my next note, which I have seen and I cannot remember. And it's a Scarlett Johnson, it's a Scarlett Johnson film. And also, Morgan Freeman. This is the first one I've got Morgan Freeman in. And it says Lucy. And this is also 50 pence. It has a nice sexy slip cover. Look at that. Nice and juicy. <laughs> now this, I can't, I can't, I'm sh I have seen it and I'm sure they do some sort of experiment and she comes some sort of like an assassin, like a kick-ass woman. Who, yeah, some sort, of, she has some sort of strength or sense. I'm sure it's in like that. And that's been a long while since I've seen this. So this is another need to watch. I know there's films what, which I've watched many years ago, but and I've totally forgotten what the films are totally about. But for some reason, like films like Commando, Terminator films, all especially Arnold Schwarzenegger films, I can still remember them. <laughs> and, I, and I've already started picking them up, which I've already shown in my old video. And there's still more Arnie films I want to get hold of, like Eraser, the first Terminator. I don't think I've got the first Terminator on Blu-ray. I do have it on DVD, but anyway, I'm going off topic here. So this is um, Lucy, which was 50 pence. So that's another one I need to re-watch. Because I'm, pre I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, I was just saying, the gum some sort of experiment and she comes like, increases the strength or whatever, and awareness and all that stuff. So that is that. I'm just thinking, have I got anything else? Right, that is it. That is it. I can't. I don't think I've got anything. Ah, oh, I have got one. Now this one I also got for two quid, and this is my and it's my first Arrow film. So some of you will probably know. I think they do like foreign films, and this is my first 4K res restoration. But it's also 1080p. And it's a brilliant classic, and it's Ronan, Robert De Niro. And look at that, it's a nice sexy sleeve, as well as a nice clear case as well. Look at that. And I got this in a charity shop, British Art Foundation. I think um, they also had some other ones, some old classics. And I did um, Google one of them, but it's not my type of like horror. It's some sort of cheesy like B-movie horror film. I can't remember the name, but... But there you go. Oops, move my finger up. Now, if I remember right, this is some sort of like gangster, a bit like heat in a way. So, yeah. Yeah, and I'm sure, yeah. I know it's action packed. I know he's. I remember being in Leon. And if I remember right, in Leon, he was a hitman. And that's another film I need to get hold of. Because I know Leon is, is a film I want to watch. So that's running. Loads of special features in this as well. Like It's got DTS HD Master. And loads of special features like in running, cutting room, archive. It's also through the lens. And also interviews. Absolutely loads of stuff. So yeah. And I know this was 
filmed in Paris. So, um, yeah, and I remember, I know the, act, the car sequence is absolutely brilliant. So this is another film I need to re-watch. But yeah, good film. I wonder if they'll ever do a sequel and do a run it too. So, that's my first Arrow film I've got in my collection. Now, that is definitely it for now. I have got another stack of films there, which I need to show you. And also, um, there's going to be another Blu-ray hunting video, because we've got Deadpool 2 coming out. So I'll definitely be doing a video on that. I might add that with the uh, Panland, because I am going to be doing a Blu-ray hunting video Panland, so I might add it to the same video to that. But we'll see, or I might just separate them. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like these type of videos, give it a huge thumbs up. And also, by any, by any means, comment down below. I do like comments. And also, you can share it and all that goodness. So, that is it. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And keep on pumping those sexy muscles. Hell yeah.